Hey everybody, I'm Cinnamon Cooney, your art Sherpa, and this is the Acrylic April 2020 and 2023 book look through and walk through and also giveaway. On the mic is my husband, John. Hello. He is going to be helping me with this giveaway by making sure that he asks all the correct questions of me while we're doing the giveaway, that he edits the videos, that he is uh, here making sure the camera is pointing at what I'm talking about, and generally making sure that uh, my scattered crazy brain stays mostly on track because I'm super excited about today. This is sort of huge. These are these are our first published books and they're really big. And one of the things that we wanted to do um, when we finally did manage to get the books published and we saw what that was going to be like, these are available on Amazon. There's more information below, um, is to make sure that we did both a, a community giveaway and a patron giveaway. So this is the community giveaway. If you are a patron, don't forget to check your newsletter because you guys have links and information for the patron only giveaway of this. But basically at the end of this video, after I explain the books, let you look at both the hard covers and the soft covers, go through, explain their features, how they're different, how they're awesome. Um, and at the end of that, I'm gonna tell you guys how to enter for lucky viewers uh, will have a chance to win one of these books, but all those rules and all those stipulations and everything, you just have to wait to, to the end of the video to find out how to have to a chance to win your own copy. Yeah. Just but, uh, but other than that, if you've been like kind of thinking like, do I want to invest in one of these acrylic April books? <laughs> what are the books like? All of that. I'm going to walk you through so you can really see uh, in person how what they look like, what's in them, why I think they're good, um, if they're a good fit for you, just all that general stuff. And it's basically going to go like this. I'm going to go over 20, uh, 20 uh, is this 2020? 2020. <laughs> <laughs> There's, we've written four, but we have these, these, these published. Ones, they made it out first. <laughs> they made it out first. We will tell you lots of behind the scenes funny stories as we go. So we'll go through 2020 uh, first, the hard copy and the soft copy. And then we will go through this year's acrylic April uh, 2023, both the hardback and the softback. And you can even see how like 2020 and 2023, like this is such a monstrously it's bigger evolved. book. It just ended up being so big. So the next thing we're going to do when we come back is I'm going to walk you through acrylic April 2020. So before we get into looking through the 2020 book, hardcover and softcover, I do want to say something just because spammers are a problem in the world um, and we're doing our giveaway uh, information at the end and I know how they are and they take advantage. If you're ever contacted from us, when you are contacted as a potential winner, um, you we aren't going to be asking uh, for information and all of that in the comments. And you're going to be directed to our official support at theartsherpa.com um, to contact us. We're not going to send you somewhere else. There's just, these giveaways work really great uh, to be able to do it from the comments. But one of the things that happens is like bad actors come along and they're like, you've won and it's not me. So just make sure it's me and it will be us and we'll identify ourselves. It'll be a comment from my channel and it will be directing you to our website. So um, at which point we're not going to be asking for any of your credit card information right, yeah. or anything or to download any desk. Oh, and just as a PSA for the world in general, never, ever, ever download any desk hmm. to your anything for any reason. Microsoft doesn't need you to do that. That's only for scammers, in my opinion. Hmm. I'm not really a tech person, but I've watched yeah. a lot of these get the scammer shows now. And I feel like I'm like a, I'm like a person who watched a lot of like medical shows. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> I have information, you, you which which is mostly like don't download any desks. That's my that's, yeah, it's good. uninformed, informed opinion that I'm sharing with you. Okay, 2020. So in 2019, I decided to create a daily painting challenge called Acrylic April, where we paint together every single day for 30 days, 30 different paintings, small paintings. I, you know, kind of created this idea sort of off the top of my head because people were always asking me, how do I get better at painting? And I'm like, how do you get better at painting? is well to take classes and everything but most importantly is to paint a little bit every day and uh daily painting was really transformative for me and so i thought i will share that with you and then the second year when we decided to do it because we are really wild people who do wild things we were like oh let's do that madness again um we were like how could we improve it and one of the things we decided to do to improve it was to break it up pre-record it so you could see the the course before you started and we knew the materials early early and also uh so that um, we could write up instructions and that we could chapter mark and timestamp the videos because we realized 
finding your place again was a really big thing. And if you had written out instructions, that would be really, really helpful. And we're like, oh, we'll just publish a book. How hard could that be? We have now written four books, really five books technically, the, that we had that we had not published yet. So that's how hard that can be. We hard. found it. We found it much easier to write the books than to publish the books. Yeah, the the publishing has been the challenging thing for us because publishers. We have publishers. If you're a publisher and you don't have a sucky deal, you're welcome to contact us. But we found that a lot of pu publishers deals were kind of sucky and not helpful to us. And yeah. we're like, yeah, I don't want to do any of that. And we really wanted something that was available everywhere because our community is everywhere. So here we are writing books and not getting them published. This year was the first year that we got them published. And weirdly, because of a variety of reasons, 2020 was the first book we got out. Yep. In that, okay, now understand we've never published, never done Amazon. It was so much harder than you would ever think. And we, it, it like just getting a softback in was trouble. And then we found out it was a whole nother journey to get the hard copy in. And that Amazon charges per page by material. It's like crazy how they do it. So that's how the prices are set. Those are actually sort of set by the Amazon auto market system. Their print machine. Their print machine because they're like, this is how much it costs. And then we're going to take this amount of money off the total thing. And so for us to be able to just pay back like, you know, all the costs and expenses of creating the books, like we were like, what's the minimum we could do? And that's how that price got set. And then... That's why there's a difference between the hard cover and the soft cover is because they greatly change the cost of the printing. Like if you see the soft cover has that sort of traditional like what you'd expect on a soft cover book. It's pretty much the basic soft cover. And then this is the basic hard cover. We get the nice second page though on the hard cover, which is, you know, that little extra page is really cool. I also want to shout out a thank you uh, to my mom and John Little. Uh, John Little gave us a lot of hand. I also want to thank... Uh, specifically the book team, um, the Archer book team, because if you've watched me at all, you know that um, English is not a, a thing that I teach for a reason. Right. I'm creative and I and I write pithy things, but the spell check <laughs> and grammar check and just the organizing and helping us create a process that was repeatable and made sense just really require a lot of people. So I just want to thank everybody involved right there. So we had the hardback and the softback. Amazon puts these on sale sometimes. I don't know what sets that off. We don't know. Yeah. If you bought them and you've done the painting, a thing that you could do to really help me is to go buy and review it. I don't mind an honest review because honestly, um, people having their expectations managed, if they expect one thing and they get another thing, then they're going to be mad. But if you just tell them what your book was like and your experience with it, then they'll be like, oh, that's relatable. And it's not me saying it. It's you saying it. So they know that that you're probably going to be super honest with them. <laughs> they don't know me, so they don't know I'm honest yet. And everybody <laughs> right. lies, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, that's that sort of thing. So let's go through and kind of look at the softback book. I'm going to go through the pages. These have a ton of extra information. So one of the fun things at the beginning of the book that I thought was really wonderful, um, and thank out on the team for this, the, the layout on this was really awesome, um, uh, which is specifically shout out to Laura for the help on the layout because I had an idea in my head and then she made that happen in a way that we could put it inside a book. Let me tell you, that's the journey. Yeah. The idea laid out into a book, the whole journey. So this lets you know what all 30 of these projects are. In 2020, um, the theme was just sort of painting loose and every day. I was just trying to loosen up and paint fun topics every single day. Um, the one that people were most frustrated by this year, fun fact, was fire chicken, which is what they call it, it was really phoenix coming out of a candle. You know. Yeah, if you ever hear, hear us refer to fire chicken. That's what that's, we're talking about. It's the phoenix. Um, the one everybody really, really loved, they loved the fox and the raccoons were super popular and the boat at the end um, was a very super popular. And so it goes through and I tell you, basically, I give you tips on how to set up a daily painting, like what you need to do um, and just general things that let me put on my reading glasses and I will let you know, like a, a tip, right? Um, a key to success was number 10. I'll give you number 10's tip. Be okay with failure. Isn't that a fun tip? <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> During the challenge, you're probably possibly going to hate some of your artwork. You may even question why you began this challenge. Some projects are going to frustrate you. <laughs> Try to keep in mind that it's not the make 30 almost perfect paintings you'll ever paint in your life challenge. It's the painting every day challenge. Nobody's going to curate this or judge it. In fact, you shouldn't allow anyone to judge it. Consider these 30 paintings not as individual projects, but as a collective whole. 
Don't judge each individual project, but evaluate the progress that you've made as an artist over the course of the 30 days. It is my goal to challenge you to stretch you. As each painting builds on the previous one, you'll be able to see the worth of the project. You are the final work of art. Oh, that just makes me tear up. I guarantee that when all 30 paintings are hung up on the wall, it's really something to see. You may even take pride when people ask you about it and you tell them that you painted every day for 30 days. Yeah. So that's kind of the tone that the book is written in. Um, this was a very important part for me to include the myths of painting. Um, number one myth is you must be born with talent to be an artist. Talent is misunderstood and certainly not a requirement. People are not born magically talented as winners of a genetic lottery. Amazing artists do have certain traits in common among them, perseverance and determination. As a group, artists work at what they do, practice their craft. We don't mind this work as it makes us feel like play. Remember, the path of art is a lifelong journey, not a sprint. You don't just miraculously pop into being as an artist. Artists are not made with pixie magic. They're developed through hard work and time. So I've got 10 of these myths that I think over the years as a teacher online, I um, really saw people struggle with. And so this really just comes from my experience of things that I see that people believe is true and yet is in no way true. And so through the book, uh, and this is sort of a soft sort of paper, um, you know, going through, you can see that, and I'll open up the hardback, but there's step-by-step -step pictures. This is the chicken, right? It starts out with the big picture, shows you the grid, right? Gives you the color palette, lets you know what's gonna be in here. Step-by-step -step instructions. It tells you the color mixes on each step. I thought that was an important thing to, you know, work out, you know, and what brushes we're using and all of that, all the way to signature. And then for this one, and this is cause it was close to 2019 when I was still full of mayhem and madness. I uh, had homework for you cause what you needed on top of a 30 day painting was homework. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Yep. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> but it is kind of a cool worksheet. And we it thought is. that one of the cool things about maybe this soft cover book with the less glossy paper was that you might not feel uncomfortable painting inside the book. Um, because, you know, it's still, you know, it's heavy enough to take a little paint. And so you could do the color mixing uh, exercise or you could do the value exercise. And then I have the traceable here if you wanted to use tracing paper and trace over it and to get it onto your canvas. I suppose technically you could pull it out, though I don't imagine you're going to be ripping out pages because, look, there's pictures on the other side. But it's a start. And you guys know you have all these traceables yeah. for free on my website to download. So they're sort of here as a courtesy for people who didn't know who I was. And this was part of what was originally going to be in each kind of mini book chapter thing. And so it just goes through all of these. And you can see the pictures are big and super seeable. The instructions are very followable. I'll go over the hardback book. I think it is just gorgeous. Yeah, I really liked it. You know, when you see, like, look at the, the gloss of yeah, the pictures. I'm going to have to adjust is, it because the gloss is so bright and right? shiny. Now, I mean, and on this one, I just assumed you knew nothing. <laughs> that was my whole, like, what if they've never heard a painting? And so I kind of just explained everything. As a reference book, I think this is a good one to have because you get this whole uh, explanation of color, why I chose this color palette everything you need to know about brushes, a ton of stuff on concepts and techniques. I mean, I just was like, what if they, what if they just need to know what a dry brush is? Right. And so I really got in there explaining primary colors, secondary colors, color charts. I, I went into, I mean, this is goodness, like Burnt Sienna PBR7, available in almost every line of acrylic paint. Burnt Sienna can range a little bit in its color variant. This is because the pigment comes from the earth in different mines and locations, results in different siennas. The good news is whether Burnt Sienna is more orange or brown, it's still an excellent color to have and will always be reliable. Burnt Sienna can be exchanged um, for raw Sienna, Burnt Umber, Red Oxide, and Transparent Brown Iron. So like I give you exchanges in there. I tell you about the color. There's a whole big thing explaining the Naples yellow, Titanite yellow thing. I tell you about pigment codes. I explain Prop 65 warnings. I should probably make some of this stuff into a video because it's <laughs> genius and it's very useful information. But you know, I was just feeling thing. I explain all the parts of a brush, everything you need to know about acrylic paint, why you wouldn't want to use watercolor brushes. I look, I illustrated out every kind of brush and then let you know how to clean your brushes in case you didn't know. I gave you warnings on how not to damage your brush. I gave you information on how to repair it. Told you about canvas or paper. And then just in case you're not familiar with the techniques, 
all of the techniques are explained and illustrated because I'm, I just, I'm so afraid someone's going to be sitting there at home and not know a word or something. Which is, it was, it's really awesome how much she had put effort into this. <laughs> and I wouldn't let them cut out anything even for the cost of the book. I was like, they need to know it all. So, you know, I got all this in here. I have troubleshooting, like things that if, because we had done the program, right? So at that point, at the end, I could add stuff in like stuff you guys complained about or were having trouble with. So I talk about how to remove chalk, how to improve paint flow, uh, what's going on if your paint's drying too fast, words that you might not know of mine, like a titch, a scotch, or a smidge, <laughs> explained it, <laughs> what we're talking about, and then also explain the gritting method, just in case you've never, ever heard of that and you didn't want to use the traceable. And then we just go into this gorgeous book with these beautiful pictures all the way through right explaining these concepts it is a stunner now i do love the hardback book but i get that i mean there's just nothing i can do like about the cost of these books like maybe someday if we we're ever to make them ourselves at home but i gotta tell you that's harder than you think buying yeah. a book is harder than you think um and also we wanted these to be available everywhere so everywhere there's an amazon you can purchase these from amazon and we did the thing, we didn't let them make crazy prices for you guys around the world. Like John went through and just made sure it, the pricing made some sort of sense. I, yeah, it's really, I, I, especially in Europe, I went through, because it did all these wonky to the oh, penny man. adjustments. I went through all the taxes and made it so it was this even number and I rounded down so that, you know, it was, you guys saved money. On, you know, anyway, I thanked everybody for being saying. part of the Sherpa community. And then I dedicated the book really to you. This dedication is to the inspiring and ever supportive art strip community, my cherished art family. Without your constant encouragement, unyielding belief, and unwavering passion for art, the idea of teaching a 30-day painting course would have remained an elusive dream. You have provided me with the courage to take that leap and embrace the journey, each step adorned with colors and stokes of creativity. You've taught me that art is more than just a technique. It's a way of life, a language that transcends barriers, and a force that unites us all. Through the countless hours spent sharing your expertise, tips, and heartfelt stories, you have forged a bond that transcends the canvas, connecting each of us in a vibrant tapestry and inspiration. It just goes on and gushes on you. I just gush on you. Good gushing. So we have both of these out, and you can get these on Amazon. At the end, I'll tell you um, how I'm, I'm going to give away a hard copy signed and a soft back copy signed to the general community. And remember, patrons, you have your own giveaway where you have um, doing a hard and soft copy. Now, when we come back, I'm going to go over this year's Acrylic April 2023. So we're going to go over 2023. And this particular, this is the fifth year that I've done Acrylic April. Uh, 2019, which does not have a book, but 2020, which was just sort of painting loosely. Every year sort of had a theme. We did uh, water, waves and water kind of in 2021. And then we did flowers in 2022. And then 2023, I thought I'd been getting requests each year for abstract art. And I just thought, man, abstract is one of those simple yet so complex topics. And I'm like, one, it's hard for people to relate to. So I was really worried people would show up for it. I had so many fears and anxieties, but actually it kind of turned out to be moot. And this one we had gotten done really, really early. And so at this point, we decided, yes, we're going to do Amazon publishing. That's maybe the right choice for us. We had started to go through the process of getting the test book 2020 through. And we were like, we're going to do this. Now, I noticed, remember how I said I had like this anxiety about not having enough information and you thought the first book had a lot? Well, this book had more. <laughs> it had more it bigger book. to say about everything. And that's why there is a difference between the cost of this book and this book is because it's just like a hundred more pages. It was just a lot more to say. Book, and yeah. to that, what I mean is like, you know, we have these gorgeous, gorgeous pictures. Again, you can see we got a little bigger with the pictures on this one. Um, so you could really, really see each step. Uh, I thought that was just a value to you guys. And, and I looked at it, it was still less than trying to print these things out on your printer, at least on my printer at home. And it seemed like a worthwhile thing. Now I, love the hardback on this it's just a stunner and i will be giving away a softback and a hardback here is our opening cover here is probably where I, I will be signing somewhere in here i don't know i'll do something crazy somewhere in there somewhere in there now this one was a very special dedication which i will read to you guys because um i think the people who are involved will be here and so they they'll i think they might be 
touched that it, it happened this way. So this dedication is to the incredible team behind Acrylic April Abstract, the moderator's book team and every dedicated volunteer. This book is a testament to your unwavering commitment, passion, and expertise. You are the backbone of our community and without you, none of this would be possible. To Karen, your exceptional dedication and tireless effort have made an indelible impact on this project. Your hard work, enthusiasm, and attention to detail have not gone unnoticed, and we are forever grateful. To our proofreaders, <laughs> who meticulously come through every line, ensuring our words are polished to perfection. To our video reviewers, who diligently preview our content, identifying and rectifying the errors, which there are many. It's yeah. a, somebody has to pre-watch the whole series before you guys ever see it, all 30 videos. I let the patrons see it as well because they also catch stuff. <laughs> so everybody sees Every, it early. It's a team effort. To all the butterflies, moderators, and volunteers from our Facebook groups to our live chats, your presence makes our community vibrant, safe, and welcoming. It is said that it takes a village to raise a child. Similarly, it takes a dedicated and diverse group of individuals to create the thriving, supportive community that we have today. Each of you brings your unique skills and talents to the table, working together to make acry acrylic April abstract a reality. From the bottom of my heart, I thank every one of you for your invaluable contributions. This book is not just a collection of art and words. It's a manifestation of the collective love, effort, and dedication that each of you has poured into it with immense gratitude, the Art Sherpa. It's really John and I and the kids. Yeah. But we really super appreciate it. So the book goes through its table of contents and... Again, I didn't want you guys to not know things. So I decided just to uh, explain abstract art. Now, understand, yes, I did take this in school and I did make an effort to uh, make sure that the things that I shared with you see, like, are as accurate as possible. I'm sure someone will have a feeling in a review and guess what? I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah. You know, my point was just to, the goal with this was to make abstract a not off-putting topic for people and to create a resource that match the videos to make this process painless and fun. And so part of that was making sure that you guys had access to the concept of what abstract is, why abstract is, and the reason that we would bother to paint it. I think this book, the layout on it is just gorgeous. And I explained to you every term that you could conceivably possibly want to understand like objective painting versus subjective painting abstract landscape versus abstract realism 21 types of abstract art defined because why wouldn't you want that and i mean they're funny like i think pointillism pointillism is the art of painting itsy bitsy dots <laughs> <laughs> developed in the late 19th century pointillism places pure color dots side by side creating continuous tone when viewed from afar it's like magic but with dots or older eyes as we all know the masterminds behind pointillism were george Seurat and paul Signot, both part of the neo-impressionist movement Seurat's iconic sunday on a long uh, grand jet is a perfect example of his dedication to the dots and yeah on another dot enthusiast painted gorgeous scenes like pine tree at saint tropez pointillism did not stop there it influenced other art movements like fauvism cubism so remember sometimes dots make colossal impacts so it's that kind of definition try to make and it it's almost like you also get some like extra casual you get some extra homework here because you can look up all these artists and their stuff too did i throw dada in there yeah i did because i'm not skipping beatrice woods for any reason and so there's just some stuff in there uh, that i put in to make it easy i also included uh, a miss of abstract art like myth number one my kids could do that um, this myth suggests that abstract art is so simple that even a child could create it. However, creating a good piece of abstract requires much more than just randomly throwing paint on a canvas. It requires a deep understanding of color theory, composition, balance, and other elements of art. This is not just about making a pretty picture, but also expressing emotions, ideas, and experiences through form and color. Now, I edited this next part out, but I'm going to say it to you right now. I also, um, that's a red flag for me when parents say that because I just don't feel they're very respectful to their kids after that. <laughs> like, if you ever hear that my kid could do that, first of all, your kid's probably much more smart and capable than you're giving them credit for. Like, kids do some amazing art. And mm -hmm. may we all paint as well as our kids can. But it was, seemed a little adversarial, so I pulled that part out. But that's how I feel about it, just so you know. Um, I also included information on how to do palette knife work, just in case you got any needed to know that. And I did it for right hand and left hand setup because I get that asked. And I gave simple definitions in case you didn't want to read my long, weird, wordy ones. Just some simple stuff over here. 
explaining stuff. And now here's the new feature. So besides the pictures being so much bigger and us now having a tool information at the beginning of each project that's much more involved than we had in 2020. I mean, like we tell you the techniques, we give you symbols, short abbreviations, also here, and I love this new feature, and it will be in um, Very useful. our next two books that we publish. Video chapter guide. Below are the timestamp chapters we inserted in the tutorial video so that you can coordinate using the book and the tutorial video simultaneously. So it says step one, two minutes and 58 seconds colored background. That means you can use the book, get on the video, find that chapter which is marked out, and paint along with the book easier. This also has uh, the name credits. If you guys, if the patrons did not know this, like uh, Shay Cherie was the patron to name this book, Take Me Back to the 80s. So if you're a patron, you name our mini books. You're actually naming chapters for maybe larger books. You're at least naming the mini book chapters, but you might end up in a publisher of a book. Did you know that? Maybe you didn't. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> so we go through and we really explain the brushes and everything in a lot more detail. The pictures are a lot bigger. Here's the thing, and it tells you the timestamps up here. Timestamp 258, timestamp 6. Is this not just too cool? That is cool. It's so cool, right? Each step tells you the colors I'm using in that step. See, because we get better. When we do this, we get better. Yep. And it tells you what color mixes are going to be. So like light salmon is titanium white. Uh, Hansa Yellow Lemon and Quinacridone Magenta. And it gives you the order of the mix, like what is the most. So it's like Titanium White's the most, and then Hansa Yellow, and then Quinacridone. It's so funny. Like, it tells you so many little things now that when you start to read our our thing, and this is why I give credit, because sometimes, like, the team comes back and is like, if you'd explain it like this, I think it would be easier for people. And so this has been an ever back and forth you know, thing and they, and we talk about the different mix, like the shady sky blue mix, the icy blue mix to the brush. And it even goes through micro mixes, titches, things like that. Uh, we we discuss the steps and these are really m written to match. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that just too much? Deep Mountain Majesty and Sandra Fletcher. It tells you also the difficulty level and how many steps are in this. This lets you know how long the video would be. I'm at 44 minutes. I'm signing the video. So you're like, oh, I got 10 steps and about 44 minutes. This is what I'm using. There's no book in my mind. I, if I, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think there's a book in my mind for art written like this. This is pretty, this is pretty helping you. This is uh, not about somehow weirdly marketing myself as an artist out in the world. This is about me helping beginning artists get through that project as successfully as possible with a book and the video. Oh yeah, there's also a school. <laughs> if you if you don't want to have to deal with what it's like to find things on the website or YouTube and you want them all sequential and you'd like to get a certificate at the end, there's a school. So and you can see the pictures, pictures. are just big really good pictures, yeah. and lush. Oh, and look at this opening chapter. Celebrate. I love these. They're just they're just too much. They're just everything, I think. My figurative one. She was a journey, wasn't she? I thought she was going to be like one of the most popular ones. Yeah. Because she was so good. It's weird. Like sometimes my most favorite one isn't the one that's like my least favorite one is y'all's most favorite one or whatever. I never know. And that actually happened. I really was. I struggled through the neo-expressionism and you guys just loved it and completely got it. Yep. You know, so you're really seeing... You know who did this? This is Heather Finn McDonough, and she did Spirit Pony, 12 Steps, Difficulty, Three Hoots. By the way, thank the patrons for that because they, they, they guess the hoots. I no longer set my hoot rating on myself. We go by what the patrons generally guess. That way, your expectation is more likely to be where their expectation is. And I'm not coming in going, it's two hoots. And you're like, it was five, <laughs> five hoots. What are you talking about? <laughs> Time stamps again. Look at, it tells you all the tools, all of this, all the, can everything you need to know. Every, look, what are you going to learn? Color theory, expressive painting strokes, being painterly and loose, atmospheric perspective, finding value, dry brushing, directionality, blending what into what, color mixing, implying motion. Imply the motion. Do you want to know how to do those things? Well, we're going to show you. And here is the video it tells you everything. Video chapter guide. Oh, this, this is my favorite. <laughs> 
Isn't he terrific? That was an interesting owl. Be hootiful <laughs> from Ashley Welch. Two hoots. I would have rated him three. I can. And they're they're almost never wrong. You know what I'm saying? Now we didn't do the whole like uh, uh, traceable at the end of each chapter. We did them all here, and we said enlarge uh, 125 percent for uh, an eight byte canvas. So like. One of our people like put this thing on their printer and was like, how much do I got on large to make this fit? Because we learn, sweeties, we learn. So all the ones that you really have to have a traceable for are now in the back of the book. So just yeah, waiting for you. There's, there's all sorts of ways to get around this. Like for example, if for whatever reason you can't trace this, most of your phones, especially like an iPhone, if you go into iPhone and go into Notes, pop it open, you can actually take a picture of the page. It'll make it nice and square for you, and then you can print it right there. So you can just print your own traceable at 125%, and there you and go. And then I give you a goodbye message from me to you as we wrap up our colorful Acrylic April 2023 adventure. Right? 312 pages on the sucker. So that's how that happened. That's why the book is what it is. 312 pages. A few pages. Available on Amazon. Coming out soon. 2022 probably will hit first. That's one about flowers. And then 2021 about uh, all, all things water. Waterfalls, streams, all all water. Everything you got to know about water, it's a big one. Um, and so what it was is we just wrote too much. Like it was like beyond publishable. <laughs> just, yeah. We did have to figure out how to edit that because I, I don't know what was going on there. So, you know, it's going through its edit process right now, and hopefully that will get out. And then we're going to try to get the beginner acrylic painting book out to match the beginner acrylic painting course, which is free over at the school. Um, and we did that because it was hard for everybody to find uh, everything in the original setup of the course, and so we just put it free over there. So these books available in Amazon, everywhere there's an Amazon, you can get the books. When we come back... I'm going to tell you how you can win your own, uh, you can have a, enter to, enter to have a chance to win your own signed copy. I'm giving away a hardback of 2023 and a softback of 2023, a hardback of 2020 and a softback of 2020 signed uh, by me to four lucky community members. So come back, I'll tell you how to enter. All right, this is the part that hopefully many of you came for, which is how to enter for your chance to win, uh, giving away one of the hardbacks of 2020, one of the hardbacks of 2023, a softback of 2020, and a softback of 2023, um, signed by me, and you guys can enter for a chance to win. How do you enter? Okay, so the rules are down in the description below, but basically, not in the premiere chat, that's not where the entry is, in the comments after the video is over, you can leave a comment um, down below about, I guess, what should the topic be? Why you might like to win a book. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not evaluating the essays on words, so you don't have to. You can write me anything that's in your heart, but that's not impactful in the winning. You must be over the age of 18. You must live in a location that allows this type of giveaway. So it's void where it's prohibited. Um, you can check whatever the values of the books are on Amazon. <laughs> it's not going to exceed that. Um, we will mail it to you as long as you are in a place that allows mail, mm -hmm. you know, you gotta, you gotta be able to receive the mail and how you're going to, you're going to leave that comment. How are you going to be notified if you won? Well, the contest is going to enter at the end of this video when this video stops streaming and it will be open for two weeks after the video. At the end of that two weeks, that's 14 days. Um, I am going to go through and using a random comment picker, choose four lucky winners. I am going to then, from this account, the Art Sherpa YouTube channel, <laughs> okay, I'm going to let you know that you're a winner and congratulate you. And I'm going to direct you to write support at theartsherpa.com. Not some other location. Why am I being so specific about this? Because the last time we gave away a spammer in an attempt to get people's private information, steal money from them, uh, came through and said, You're, you won. And I'd like to say that that will never, ever trick people, but it always does. So what I'm saying is if it's not for me and it doesn't direct you to the website, it's a scammer. I'm going to be checking the YouTube channel twice a day, every day, removing those comments. Okay. I'm not going to notify you before the contest uh, ends. And 
we're going to be confirming it based on our winners that are in our list over at support at the art sherpa.com so it's like on our end it's going to be very very good i'm not going to be asking for your credit card information at any point i just want to say and you're never going to be asked to download any desk so just don't ever do those things online i i it's so important guys because oh my gosh they have robots and everything like fighting against us then that's why you just got to be smart so you're, if you're being directed to support at the artsherba.com, that's my email address. That's a good sign that everything is good. I'm also going to post in the pinned comment at the top, the winners and their names. I'm going to put it on the Facebook page. We're going to include it in a newsletter and post it in the group. So you'll be able to check that um, on the day that we pick those winners. So you can make sure, am I a winner? Should I be emailing this and again I'll be directing you to email me as the winner over at the Art Sherpa. So those are things that's for your safety and your privacy. Don't put your email or any private information up on a YouTube comment or anywhere online. Don't do that. Anywhere just generally. Just don't. It's you can't do that. So you know I'm going to be directing you to that private conversation and I really want everyone good luck to win. Um, and then uh, you will have four days to respond. I don't remember how many hours that is. How many hours is four days? 72 is three. Add another 24 to that. We, uh, 96. Okay, there you go. So four days to respond. And if we don't hear from you, we'll pick another winner. So that's how, it's really how we always do it. And it's random comment picker. So that's why, again, I'm saying you don't have to write an essay to, to win. You don't have to buy anything to win. Um, I don't generally ask that you, I, I'm not even going to ask you to subscribe or like the video to win. Okay. FTC, right? Not associated with Facebook or YouTube in any way. This is just me doing this. If you want to contact me about it, you contact me, support at theartsherpa.com. It's just me trying to say thank you to my community because at the end of the day, we can't do these things without you, without the support of you guys coming and watching the videos, without you guys sharing the videos and telling your friends and going online. To that end, if you purchase the book and you really aren't entering the giveaway because you're like, I already have the book. And when I see you next, I'm going to ask you to sign it. That's also fine. If you see me in the world and you have the book, I will absolutely sign it. Yeah, for book. sure. It's totally cool. Don't be like, can I go to my car and get the book? Yes, you can. Even if I don't have makeup, I'm going to be cool. Because I really appreciate that you bought it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, and if you're coming to the Art Sherpa retreat, you can bring your book and I'll sign sign a book. Um, that's totally fine, right? So just know that in, that is in the world. But say you bought it and you, you're not entering because you're like, I got my copy. Leave a review over on Amazon. And it's not even about trying to push me up in the search rhythm of Amazon. What it is, is like, I can say to people in my little blurb, this is a great way to learn how to paint. But everybody says that, right? Man, everyone calls it an art journey now. It's just, it's everybody says the stuff that I say now. They just all say it. So how, how can anyone online in a world where you have to worry about scammers and any desk and all that stuff, how can you trust what somebody says? There's so many people writing fake books that they're putting on Amazon now. So what you could do to help them, which does help me, is say, hey, I own this book. I did this program. These videos were like this for me. Here's my results. If you can share pictures of your results and say what you thought of the book. And it doesn't all have to be perfect feedback. One lovely lady shared that the print on the newsprint was like lighter than was comfortable for her eyes and she had to wear reading glasses to read it. That's good information. Like if you didn't know that, you would want to know that. I don't mind you guys sharing that. Yeah. It, the books are what they are. I'm proud of them. I wrote a lot of words. There were so many words. There's so, so many, many words, words in the book. <laughs> so many words and so much extra stuff. And it's something I'm hoping someday to have as many books online as I have videos online. That and the, and the books are like the videos. I feel like I don't feel like we're ever going to get so far into AI, into the future and being... I don't know, wired up to the satellites or whatever's coming for us. I don't know what's coming for us. Not to be dystopian, right? Sure. But I, I think that we're always going to have a need for book and we're always going to have a need to be creative no matter how complex we get as a species. I think being able to sit and paint is super, super important. I think understanding acrylic art is super, super important. You don't even got to like it. <laughs> But understanding it makes you have more fun at the museum. Being able to paint loosely and every day change is transformative for artists. I think that's wonderful. Tell people about your experience with the book, 
right? Now, I really wish every, every, every single person could win. And, uh, and again, it's only four potential winners announced two weeks after the airing of the video. When does the contest entry open, John? After this video is as over. Soon as it's, yeah, after, yeah you not in the premiere. Do Don't do the leave premiere. a comment here. You have to do it in the comments below. Below, <laughs> right? Who's going to contact you? Me. Just me. And <laughs> where am I going to send you if you're a lucky winner? To my website, support at theartsherpa.com. Anyone else, they're spammers and you have my permission to be mean. That's what I do now. <laughs> if anybody calls me from Microsoft and asks me to download any desk, I take all of the stress that I'm not able to talk to my therapist about right now. And I share it with the scammer because I feel like they, they are robbing Mima and Papa. And the people that rob Mima and Papa deserve an earful. Uh -huh. And they get it from me. So you have my permission to do that too. <laughs> You're like, ah! Because here's what, the world is already hard enough as is. We shouldn't be doing that to each other. That's a crazy thing to do. So I'll send you to where the website, support at theartsherpa.com, and I'll confirm okay. with you, what will you not be asked for? Do you know for? what's funny? Your your credit card or any of that information. Do you know what's funny? What, how You've been it? so animated this that you bounced the chair down. Did I? <laughs> you... That's how much I hate a scammer. I bounced my chair down. Okay. John had to make me raise my chair because I was shrinking down. <laughs> I was like, so mad I was getting smaller, I guess, is what happened. So I, I couldn't be here without you. This is kind of like, you know, celebrating 700,000 subs and saying thank you to the community because would I have written a book without you? And it has always been my dream to write an art book. I cannot tell you how long I've talked about doing this. I want to thank my mom and John Little again um, who have been – really what the word family just genuinely means and I'm so super grateful to them for them being so kind and give us a place where we could get our things together where our yeah. life is chaos to get books out and I want to thank you to the community for being the kind of community that would buy a book and I want to wish everybody good luck in it and um, if you're a patron because I'm so extra, extra grateful to the patronage. Don't forget to check your group and your newsletter for your information on where the video is for you guys to enter to win, you get four of your own copies that I'm putting out for yeah. just patrons. And I have many less patrons than community members. So this is good odds if you contest. I used to contest a lot. I used to be really into like the contesting queen and all, all of that. You got to be in it to win it. Used to say those things. I used to enter in a lot of giveaways. Before it was such a terrible thing to enter in giveaways. But it used to be really fun to enter in giveaways. I won all the time. So I'm going to tell you, like, from a person who entered giveaways and contests to somebody who won pretty often, um, you got to be in it to win it. And it is a great feeling in the universe, like, to just win something. So I want that feeling. If you need that out in the universe, that's my wish or intention for you, is that you get that good feeling because it's just a wonderful feeling. And I want to wish everybody good luck. Patrons, you're welcome to enter over here, but just remember you have your own giveaway. Um that's really it yeah. except that i hope you guys like the books i'm gonna keep writing them um and i want to say thank you to every single person who took the time to even watch this weird and long video <laughs> i'm really grateful good luck everybody be good to yourselves be good to each other and i want to see you at an easel really really soon Bye bye